Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a special edition. It's going to be like a mommy tutorial. Like a quick makeup, but like for mommies, like whether you're holding your baby and you're trying to do it, like you're trying to calm them down and you're trying to get ready and everything, or just like if you have a baby and you're just trying to get to them, whatever you want to do. Today joining me is my son, Grayson. And I'm going to be holding him while I do it so I can show you like some techniques, like if you're holding them, you know, and you want to do things one handed pretty much because it is some hard work. So what I like to do first of all is like put all the makeup I'm going to use in a bag so I can just easily access it. And then I just put it up here. I'm going to start off with eyes like usual. And I went ahead and combined it all in like my little palette that I have. And so I just put some simple little shades in here. And I also doubled it up as a shade for, this is like my deepening shade for my outer corner. But also it's really good for um, like my, if I want, I'm going to use it kind of as a liner also. And I'm going to use it as my eyebrow shade. So that's going to be good for that. I'm going to start off by using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, like always. I'm going to put this on my eyes. I'm just kind of holding the other hand while I'm holding him so that I can do that. this hand to do the same side I got so focused on holding him I need to brush my hair to my face for when we do the foundation I'm just gonna use clips to clip my hair to the side today there we go okay so I'm gonna go in with my setting brush Oops. drop the beauty butter <laughs> go with my setting brush move him up a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with this first shade, that creamy shade right there. I'm going to use that to set my lid. He loves to look at himself in the mirror. Okay, there we go. Just doing something really simple today. Then, then I'm going to use this brush for my crease. I'm going to use that next shade right next to the cream shade. And that's Latte by Makeup Geek. I forgot to tell you, the first shade is Hear Me Out by ColourPop. I'm just going to put this in my crease. We're not going for anything too crazy. Just something where we can look put together. What do you think, huh? What do you think? <laughs> now I'm going to take the fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that out. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, next I'm going to go ahead and go in with uh, my outer corner brush. I'm going to go in with that deeper shade which is Mocha by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna use that to kinda darken up that outer corner. Even though we're doing a simple look, I still like to kinda darken that outer corner. It gives it some dimension. There we go. Looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna blend it in a minute. Need a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Okay, then I'm gonna take that blending brush again. I'm just gonna blend out. And also, like a tip for when you're trying to blend out your uh, like excess eyeshadow, don't like hold it like all the way at the front, like near where the bristles are. The, the farther you hold it back, the more it's not so harsh and you can really just kind of buff it out. 
because the more closer you get and that's the same thing when you're applying it like if you're applying shadow to your crease and you're like you have it really close then you're gonna get a really packed on amount whereas if you go farther away towards the tip of the handle you can really get a more even amount yeah Okay, okay, there we go. Oop, we dropped Tassie, didn't we? Okay, then I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush. And I'm going to use that bottom shadow. It's kind of like a taupey brown. I don't know if you can really tell. And it's Nutty by Wet n Wild. I'm just going to take this on my brush. <laughs> take that on my brush. I'm trying to prop it up on the counter here. I'm just going to it on my lid and this has a little bit of glitter to it but not really too much so it's kind of perfect for that okay and then I'm just gonna take my brush my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend out where the lid shade kind of met into the crease shade then I'm gonna take my brow bone brush and I'm gonna go back in with that cream shade hear me out I'm gonna just use that on my brow bone yeah what do you think huh you think it's good you wanna say hi you wanna say hi <laughs> no you just wanna look at the mirror Okay, then what I'm going to go ahead and use is I'm going to use this angled brush. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a very sharp, like, angled brush. And I'm going to use that in that Mocha by Makeup Geek shadow. I'm going to go ahead and use that as my liner. I'm going to use, like, a shadow liner today instead of a liquid liner like I normally do. I'm just going to get that as close to my lash line as I can. And it doesn't have to be like perfect like liner was because I'm just going to kind of smudge it out. And add just a little bit more. Just to give it a little definition. I always like to have a little something up there. I don't know if you can kind of tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Yeah. What? You see yourself? You see yourself? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Then next, I'm going to skip on primer today, and I'm just going to go in with any foundation that's your favorite. My favorite to do, especially like when you're holding your baby, you know, is the squeeze tube, because I can just squeeze it on my face. I don't have to worry about pumping it on my hand, or pour it on in my hand, and then putting it on my fingers, and getting all over my hands when I'm going to be holding him. So I just shake it up a little bit, and I just put it directly on my face. her face <laughs> with the beauty blender I'm just gonna blend that out yeah I love this because it's hydrating and it's a pretty much full coverage and this is perfect for dry skin also if you have like oily skin this is the L'Oreal infallible pro glow by the way I'm not sure if I said that but if you have dry or oily skin they make a L'Oreal infallible pro matte and I've heard from people that have oily skin that that's really great too. So no matter what kind of skin type you have. I've also heard people say that they had oily skin that this was good for them also. Like when they're not at their super oiliest or like you can mix them. Yeah. We're just going to blend that all out. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with my 
concealer. Which again does. This will have dark circles. This girl going to get sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Eraser, Dark Circle Eraser Concealer. And I'm just going to use it, kind of put it like right here where, between your eye and your nose right there, because that's where, I don't know about y'all, but I get really dark right there. I'm going to bring it down my nose, give some extra coverage down there, as if I don't already have enough, right? <laughs> You trying to pull it all down? <laughs> Just kind of pulling this out with the beauty blender. I love this concealer. It's my favorite drugstore concealer. It is just so creamy and perfect. A lot of people say they don't like the applicator on it. I love it. It's so soft and disperses the product perfectly. The only thing I realized, like, if that was the only concealer I use, like, all the time, I kind of go through it a lot. Because you have to, at first, when you first get it, you have to twist it, twist it, twist it a lot before the product comes up and you almost waste a little bit. Are you trying to knock it down, huh? Are you trying to knock it down? Silly. Being a silly boy. I'm going to have to move that away from you, aren't we? <laughs> okay, I think we got that blended out pretty well. Okay, now what are we gonna do next, huh? I think we're gonna go ahead and powder. Same old, same old hourglass powder. I know, I need to find something new, don't I? Just gonna go with my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. I'm just holding it kind of in my other hand while I'm holding him, so I can't really show me holding it. One thing, problem though, if you're holding it in your other hand, you have to make sure it's like kind of away from them because they will grab at it. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows. Just get out of the way. I'm actually just going to use that same brush from before that I used to kind of line it. I'm going to use the same color, the Makeup Geek Mocha color. I'm just going to dip that in, tap it off a little bit, and then I'm just going to kind of fill in my brows with it. See that works just as well as like a pencil or anything. It's almost a little easier. Just fill those cubbies in. Okay. Good to go. Is it baby approved? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and go in with. Let's see. Let's just pull. Yeah, I'm just going to use my It Cosmetic Live Laugh Love palette which you saw in my quick and easy get ready with me. And that's exactly what I need right now is quick and easy. <laughs> and plus it's easy because I can just, I'm gonna go ahead and close this palette I had on the counter. I'm gonna put this back in its place so that I can set it down. That way I have three products in one, my bronzer, my blush, and my highlighter. So I don't have to be grabbing for different things. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna take my brush, dip it into the bronzer there we go okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my blush brush and use the blush that's provided in it which is like a pinky peachy color Stamp it, then blend it. Go back in with one more. Whoopsie. Then blend that out. And then I'm gonna go in with my highlighting brush and go in with that champagne kind of highlight. Oh, 
We're gonna bring him back up here. <laughs> you little cranky, little cranky butt. Okay, then we're gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs Omega uh, mascara. I'm gonna make sure and hold it away from him so he doesn't get into it. I think I've said before, but in one of my other videos, but I just seriously have not really been liking mascara on my bottom lash line lately. I just feel like it gives it a fresher look when you're not wearing it. It doesn't look like bam, you know, in your face. Like if you're going dramatic and glam, you know, I kind of like them to be defined, but right now I just kind of feel like it opens up your eyes more when they're not so closed off. So that's just me, but that is actually it. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face down. I'm going to look off to the side so I don't spray him. And I'm actually not going to wear lipstick because a lot of the times I honestly don't wear lipstick. At least not when I'm, you know, around him all the time just because, like, I'm normally kissing him or, you know, all over because he's so cute. And so I just don't like to have a lip product on because it's just going to get all over him. So that is all today. I'm going to take these clips out of my hair. Especially done that before where like I'm finishing my makeup and I have like a headband pulling my hair back or clips and then I'm like I walk out the door and I realize that I left him in my hair. <laughs> That's just great isn't it? Yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please like and thumbs up this video and subscribe. Say bye. Bye.